Testing. One, two, three. Test, test, one, two, three. Good afternoon. I'm Kill the Vid, your host for the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. This afternoon, I'm back again with another edition of Let's Play Classic featuring Mafia 2 Classic Edition on the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. If this is your first time watching this stream and you haven't considered following and subscribing, I urge you to do so if you like the content I'm reading you. And without any further ado, this is going to be Gaming Live Stream Walkthrough Episode 3. In the previous stream, Vito Scaletta had participated in robbing a jewelry store in the mall. In addition to that, he was able to help his sister pay off his father's debt. But then the walls kept were closing in on Vito when he gets arrested for trafficking illegal fuel ration stamps and he gets sent off to prison. But luckily for him, Leo Galante made it so that he could get an early release. So we're back in the world, back in Empire Bay, and it's the 1950s. A lot has changed since Vito went inside. And the last mission I did was to celebrate getting out. We had to help bury a long, dear departed person left in the trunk of Eddie Scarpa. So now, only two days left with this stream. So grab a snack, grab a drink, grab what you need. It's time for Let's Play Classic featuring Mafia 2 Classic Edition. Right now on the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. Here we go. Chapter 8 The Wild Ones Uptown, April 11, 1951 <sighs> What the fuck? Hey Vito, rise and shine! Jesus! Marty, stop fucking yelling, will you? My head's killing me. Oh, <laughs> sorry Joey. Stop calling me fucking Joey. What the hell's wrong with you? Vito, come on! Come down! Jesus Christ. So, that's my partner Joe Barbaro out there and some guy named Marty. So, we're about to do some money making caper of some kind. First, get something out the ice box. Got the booze. How about a sandwich? I can do it for sandwich. Let's get dressed. title of this episode, the title of this chapter, is loosely inspired by a Marlon Brando movie called The Wild Ones from 1953, which Vito is dressed up like the Johnny character made famous by the late Marlon Brando. And if you haven't watched the movie, I invite you to check it out. I think it's up on YouTube. 
but it's a cutting edge motorcycle move the movie that started the whole motorcycle craze before Easy Rider and you know way before because of Sons of Anarchy and all that. Who the hell was that? Guy's got a voice like Woody fucking Woodpecker. That was Marty. Remember the little kid you slipped down the street from me? I had to pick up the truck here, so he gave me a lift. What's going on with the truck? It's gonna make you some nice cash. Hop in. I'll explain on the way. You drive. Where to? Riverside. All right, Riverside it is. Extra! Russian spy! Sink us to death! Extra! Good. Some extra night, Rosenberg. Yes, yeah, you could say that. Why? You ain't still mad, are you? Nah, very in a stiff. That's the first thing I wanted to do when I got out. Hey, come on. You had fun at the cat house, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. Thank you for that. But it wasn't fun but, uh, burying the corpse. Everything between then and now, not so much. All right, all right. Well, listen, hey, today's going to be a lot better, I promise. I sure as hell hope so. When I uploaded the previous screen to Twitch, I was shocked to learn that a sound effect used in the game, paid for, was being decided as to be used. I don't get that. I can't with the game. I mean, it's not licensed music. But sound effects apparently are licensed. So what's the deal? Simple. We just gotta go to a couple of places and unload these smokes. Then we bring the truck back to Eddie and get our cut of the take. Piece of cake. Wait a minute. I seem to remember getting so we're selling for a smokes. piece of cake just like this. Of Don't worry, I've done this before. First stop, Riverside. Say so. Of, uh, Trust me, you're gonna thank me later. Of cigarettes which we're gonna sell on the black market. Buy the cart. Not buy the little box, but buy the cart. Anyone who does smoke cigarettes knows that those long cartons are at least 20 bucks or more. So it's a cigarette racket. Black market smokes. Turn the limiter off.
Okay, well, let's now. make some money. Now we take care of our customers. These guys here buy in bulk from us. Come with me. Okay, climb up and hand me the goods. Hi, one carton of reds. One carton Hand me a carton of reds, Vito. One carton of reds coming right up. All right, hand it over. Yeah. Hey, good to see you. I'm all out of smokes. Give me a cotton of blues. Cotton of One blues. One cotton of blues, Vito. Bingo. So they come in whites, reds, and blues. Big break cigarettes. I think that's supposed there to be. There it is, sir. You're welcome. Come again. A few hours later. Cops are coming. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, Sarge, how you doing? Caught in the blues as usual? I think I'll take the whites this time. Caught in the whites coming up. Hit that veto. Let's go. Caught in the whites. Big break whites. Big break whites coming up. All right, hand it over. Thanks, Joe. Two get the hell a out pop. of here, will you? Okay, time to go. Get in, Vito. Next stop is Millville. It's going great today. We're making some serious dough. Yeah, because I had a hundred dollars to my name after getting out. All the money left over went to the burying my mother. These were actual mob rackets, you know, boosted uh, contraband off the back off, off the back of a truck and then selling it on the black market. They really did that shit. So the kid Mark, he works for Eddie too? <laughs> In his dreams. Kid's not even 18 yet. He does jobs for me. Drives me around, makes deliveries, that well, sort yeah, of I'm stuff. About to make me Thinks he's a gangster man. though. Spends too much damn time at the movies. Well, if the kid's got you for a role model, he's in for a lot of trouble. Oh yeah, wise guy? He reminds me a well, lot of you when you was money too. Exactly. Always. I spent two years dodging bullets in Europe and six years in a can since I met you. That's what I mean by trouble. What's the matter? Somebody shit in your coffee this morning? It's like you forgot about all the good times. Yeah, remind me of this someday, would you? Some of these bridge rails are collapsible, which means if you run into them like I was about to do now, your vehicle can go off the bridge and crash into them. It's a exact, I don't want to do it. Just a proof my was onto uh, another street, it would have been fine. You came down to wrecking the vehicle, but not this. Otherwise, I would fail the mission. So it's 1951. Vito had been locked up for about six or seven years. Yeah, six years. 1945, six years. Out of a 10 year prison term. I've got four years thanks to Leo Palante. Consigliere to the consigliere to the Vinci crime family. Drive like my fucking grandma, do you know that? Hey, relax, will you? Some idiot 
it just drove into us. We're bringing them in. Copy that. This will help you forget all about it. All right, now get out of here before I change my mind. That's a joke. So I'm about two hundred dollars. Big deal. I can make more money robbing stores, robbing gun shops, and crushing cars. It's only money. like butter today. All right, this almost makes up for last night. Almost. Come on, what's better than this? You got fresh air, good company, and you're making a shitload of dough. Not too bad for a guy who just got out of the slam. Uh, 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 listen, if the next few hours, unlike last anything night, like the last few yeah, hours, dead all's guy. forgiven. There's the veto I know. All right, we'll be there in a second. some dope. Hey, a carton of blues if you please. Cotton. Give me a carton of blues. Carton of blues. Alright. End it over. Here it is. Bye. I'll take a box of reds. Got the red Vito. All right, end it over. Yeah. What is this? What you selling, Mac? You buying or just window shopping? Maybe. We're selling smokes. Two bucks a carton, hundred bucks a crate. I'll make you a deal. You fuck over ten cartons and maybe we'll let you and your buddy get out of here in one piece. Hey, look, pal. How about you get back in your cute little car with your little friends there and I'll pretend I never seen you. Sound good? <laughs> you don't get it, do you, you fat motherfucker? This is our turf. And it's gonna cost you to operate here. Now pay up! You're the one who doesn't get it. You have any idea who you're talking to? One last chance. You walk away now and... Yeah, I'll tell you who I'm talking to. A fat two-bit fucking Dago door-to-door -door salesman hocking stolen cigarettes on my turf. And it's time <laughs> to close up shop, asshole. <laughs> okay, boys. I think it's time for a fire sale. Shit! Yo! What oh, the fuck? Fuck! <laughs> what do you say now, Porky? What do I gotta say? That's what I got. Come on, hop in that car and let's go. All right, let's get one of these fucks and teach him a lesson. So much for the racket. Step on it, Vito. He's getting away. I got it floored, Joe. This thing won't go any faster. Let's catch up with these assholes. They you know, fucked up now. We should check in with Eddie. Stop at the nearest phone booth and call him.
out of the And I'm fucked up. Get to the phone. Right here. Eddie's going to be pretty pissed that we lost the ship. And the truck. Eddie, it's me, Vito. Listen, we got a problem. We were moving the smokes and then these, uh, these greases came out of nowhere and set the fucking truck on fire. What? You fucking kidding me? You couldn't handle a bunch of grease balls? What the fuck happened? Look, look, Eddie, Eddie, hey, listen, it's not our fault, okay? They set the fucking truck on fire before we knew what was happening and everything burned up. All right, we popped one of the guys, but... What do I fucking care? Just bring me my money. I paid two grand for that truck, and I want it back. Lucky for you two retards, I got Derek's guy Steve here with me. And we were just talking about what to do with those punks. We're gonna take care of them, now. Steve will meet you at the Crazy Horse. You know it? Okay, Crazy Horse, yeah, I know where it is. Steve's gonna have a few guys with him. Show them that nobody fucks with us. No uh, shooting, though. So it looks like just another gang fight. I don't want to read about a bloodbath in the papers tomorrow. Now, well, good sure. luck with that. Don't worry. We'll take good care of it. Good luck with that. It, might, it just might escalate. All right, we gotta meet Steve in front of the crazy horse. Good news is he's gonna help us out. Bad news is Eddie wants his money back. All too grand of it. Yeah, well, let's go do a little cash run. By the way, we need to go get some guns. Oh, look at this. Don't move. He's under arrest. Let's see if you can pay your way out of this. Guess not. He's running. Let the cops go after him, and then we'll just take the ride. And we'll just lift that car. What a stroke of luck. Free car. We'll just wait for the cops to get away first. Oh, look at that. Free ride. Let's just wait for the cops to get away. Because we're about to lift this thing. This would look good in our garage. A lot of room in the back. <laughs> Just wait for the cops to go first. Squeak about this. Vehicle theft in progress, in pursuit of suspect. Here, $50, I'll fuck off. This'll help you forget all about it. Thanks for the contribution to my retirement fund. Yo, why don't you buzz off, okay? Capiche, why don't you buzz off? Even 
when the cops obey traffic lights, unless they're pursuing somebody. Too many locks. Not again. All right, let's go. Been a good ride. Now we're gonna still go to the gun shop. Ah, <sighs> Eddie was fucking pissed on the phone. Sure he was. Just like I'm pissed right now. Even if these assholes ain't got a dime, I'm gonna kick $2,000 worth of shit out of them. <laughs> I'm with you. But what's Steve doing working for Eddie? He works for Derek, and Derek's with Vinci's crew. How the hell should I know? But hey, you're still gonna take jobs from Derek, right? Even though you're working for Eddie? We all gotta do what we gotta do to get by. Mm-hmm. Ain't that the truth. Are you looking to buy a gun, or you just need some ammo? Anything else I can do you for? <laughs> gun ain't much without some ammo. I'll figure we can buy you out, too. Get my bad joke. Don't be- <gasps> Damn, perfect. Sorry about that, buddy. About the register. We got a homicide here. Suspect is armed. Copy that. Going in. You're fucking dead. Get him, Joe. Oh, what wait, man. The guy right there. Is that the fucking best you got? Oh, you're in trouble. I'll give you a free ride downtown. Way to go, Vito! Any more Piggly Wigglies wanting to come? Take that, take that. We better get out of here. Let's go get the vehicle. Oh boy, the bacon brigade shows up. Quick, quick, quick. Let's get some work done on the car. Rob another gun shot while we're at it. Every cop in the fucking city to come after us? 
Calm down, I know what I'm doing. Are you looking to buy a gun, or you just need some ammo? Actually, I'm here to rob Adios. your ass. You want me to- Bye-bye. I'm just gonna empty out your inventory. You ready, Joe? We got a homicide here. Suspect is off. Boom. Copy that. Officer down! Officer down! Shoot this asshole! 10-4. Get my back, Joe. Don't stand around like a pile of dog shit. Back me up, Vito! That's all about. I was telling you the same thing. Boom! Go put some gas in the old girl. Looks like the vehicle has to be made. What the fuck are you doing? What's up your ass today? But what the fuck are you doing? Jeez. Relax, will you? How's it going? So, something I can do for you? No license plate. <laughs> for you, no problem. Got it. I'll get right on it. Pick a color. Any color. All finished. She's a work of art. Right away. So, the tuning is upgradable. There you go. Look at design. Some wheels. 
Hey, you looking for a new set of wheels? Take your pick, pal. Bring it by any time. My identity is wanted. Vehicle is Go to the gas station. Fuel up. The mister, full tank, please. Sure thing. Overall, I'm enjoying this and game. Day. Thank you. We'll see you later. Playing it again and again. That was how about a car wash? Nick, uh, three cent car wash. Wonder how long will a wanted level last? After I do this mission. Who taught you to drive? None of your damn business. Hey, Steve. Hey. Hey, guys. Artie? What are you doing here? Hey, Joe. I'm going with you on this one. Steve needed help. He said I could come along. Steve, uh, isn't this, yeah. uh... Kids gotta learn sometime. Okay, why are we here, Steve, huh? The guys we're looking for are all headed to the foundry. This is where they usually meet, so we'll start here. Then head over to the foundry to finish the job. And, uh, why'd you volunteer to help us? Those bastards trashed my cousin's car. They robbed him and knocked out three of his teeth. Yeah, those fucking assholes. They make problems all over the city. What'd you Shut up, kid. <laughs> so like the Bible says, an eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. And well, we'll just start with this joint. So what's the plan? First, we're gonna trash this place. And how are we gonna do that? With this. Go ahead, boys. Hey, come on, guys. <laughs> now you can either help us or stay out of our way. <laughs> Let's go teach these fuckers a lesson. 
The guy thinks what he's in a Jimmy Cagney movie. What the fuck was that? Vito, Marty, I got some Molotov cocktails in the trunk. Go get them and throw them in. <laughs> My pleasure, Steve. We got some more. Here, have another. What are you waiting for? Grab the bottle and chuck it in. It ain't that hot. <laughs> That'll teach him. <laughs> Fucking retard. <laughs> Never mind now. Looks like. All right. Now we go to the foundry. Good deal. Get in, boys. We'll meet you two at the main gate. See you there. This sucker behind, you know, it will spot in my garage. Let's go. Let's teach these fucks a lesson. I wouldn't mind rolling in a vehicle like this. Hey, how'd you get in here? We're not here Follow for a social call, ass road. We're here to kick your asses. Next. Ha, <laughs> nice one. You fuckers are dead. Joe, watch out! Uh, uh, Thanks, kid. Shit, they got guns! So do Let we. them have it! Back me up, Vito! With the rest of it. Showtime, Vito. Don't be so gentle, boys. Hey, asshole. I got your right on your side. Till the fight's over. You should yeah. like my sister. <laughs> we got him now. Let's go. Hurry up and kill him. Fuck it over. You missed, asshole. Is gonna be good for you at your funeral. Got you come, move! Flank the bastard! Going in! Your ass is Go around behind him! Oh, you okay? Shot. Come on. All right, 
Grease files. Run! Run! Oh yeah, I love the pot of the mix. Come on out, assholes. Alright, showtime, Vito. Go, 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 Vito. 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 Come. You're fucking dead! That asshole shot me. Fuck you, you fucking fuck! Ah. Oh, nice ah. shot. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Go, Vito! Hurry up here.
Fucking rat! You're dead meat! Let's go, Vito. What are you scared, oh, asshole? Oh, shit. Why? Ooh. You ain't got a chance, oh, this shit. Asshole. Hey, asshole. Try not to die till the fight's over. Going in. Get around behind now for my back. Next bullet's got your name on it. Dead, dead. Drop it.
Go round behind. Oh, that's the best you got. You're going down. Ooh, grease gun. Oh shit, yeah. It's about to get real. See you in hell, asshole. <laughs> Chop, chop! Me asshole. Look out, he's got a gun! Listen, this got way out of hand. Eddie's not gonna be too happy. Eddie'll be fine. What are we gonna do, just let him kill us? These fucking dirtbags won't be bothering nobody, no more. What now, Steve? Now I'm gonna go home and see if that castor oil's working. I've been blocked up for weeks. I'll see you later. Joy, Joe and I still got a lot of work to do. We'll catch you later. Shit, where are we gonna get the two Gs for ready? You got any idea how much a car like this goes for? Damn, Vito, you're a genius. These babies ain't cheap, right? I bet Derek would give us at least a grand for that one. All right, I'm gonna drive this baby over to Derrick's. I'll meet you back, back at the fountain. Sounds like a plan. I'll see you at the bar. Ah, oh, damn it. Where are we going to get the two Gs for ready? You got any idea how much a car like this goes for? Yeah. 
Damn, Vito, you're a genius. These babies ain't cheap, right? I bet Derek would give us at least a grand for that one. All right, I'm gonna drive this baby over to Derek's. I'll meet you back at the Falcon. Sounds like a plan. I'll see you at the bar. Ah, damn it. Thanks a lot.
Hey, wake up, man. This one's gonna cost you, sir. Thank you, officer. Do yourself a favor, pal, and straighten up. Are you looking to buy a gun, or you just need some ammo? Just let the cop pass me. Pass me. Before I do the robbery. You need I got it. Please don't do it, please. No, you idiot. We got a homicide here. Suspect is armed. Ten four.
You looking for something special? Don't be a dummy. I like to use the lock pin. I'm in a bit of a hurry, so I'll smash the window instead. So? Here's the money. Well, that's a fucking relief. Stupid fucking junkies. Now they know their place. Good work, boys. Here's your cat. Thanks, Eddie. So, you need anything else from us today, or is that it? I got something I gotta take care of. No, 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 that's all for today. I'll call you if I need anything. How can I help for you, sir?
Buono whisky. Pronto. Here you are, sir. What can I get you, sir? Un café coming up, sir. Come back any time, sir. Every weapon is legit, I can guarantee it. I'll take illegitimate weapons. And one thing I can guarantee is that I'm about to rob your ass. And get away scot-free. Adios. You need to Adios, you. We got a homicide here. Suspect is off. Come on, give it up. Ten for a chance. Roger that. <laughs> Officer down! Officer down! Shoot this asshole! Ten four. <laughs> Bye, piglet. Give it up! This way you ain't even gonna make it! This time they're bringing in the big guns. And so am I. Too grand, too large. Guess they're gone. Time to make a break for it. All units, code green, back to the station. Bye, fuckers. And rob this one too while we're at it. Cover my losses.
you asshole. fresh from a robbery I did. Well, I guess I'll head back. It's cheaper to fix it in the home garage. Oh, there were cops on the tail. Gotta shake the cops. Oh no, he's gonna kill us! You ain't got a chance. <laughs> Alright. Don't kill me, look out! Shoot the kill. Give it up,
Cooking bacon. <laughs> ah, piglet. All units, code green, back to the station. Chapter, Chapter 9, nine. Balls, Balls and Beans, Balls. Beans. Uptown, Uptown, May 6th, 1951. situation here. Grab a gun and meet me at the bar, and make sure you're driving a decent set of wheels. All right, I'll be right there. There goes my Sunday. If you don't open the door, we're gonna open it up for you. 
So open up. This is the police. This is your last warning. Open the goddamn door. Open up, police. Listen, we know you're in there. This is the police. Open up. I wish they had the battery. We just want to ask you some questions. If you don't open the door, we're going to open it up for you. So open up. This is the police. This is your last warning. Open the goddamn door. Open up, police. Listen, we know you're in there. This is the police. Open up. Pal, you need to fill up. Full tank, please. Fill it up. You got it. Here you are. Thank you. Goodbye. Quick repair right here.
How can I help you? By any time. Well, that nearly cleans me out. Are you looking to buy a gun, or you just need some ammo? I loaded these myself in the back. I got more than you do, bro. Yes again, asshole. Morning, Eddie. Hey, Vito. I'd like to introduce you to somebody. Vito, this is Carlo Falcone. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Falcone. Vito? So, Vito, how do you feel about Alberto Clemente and Luco Gorino? Well, honestly, Mr. Falcone, the way I see it, those assholes tried to steal 5,000 bucks from me and then left me to rot in jail. That's good. Because the two of them are planning to make a move on us. So it looks like we're going to have to do something before they do something. Eddie will tell you the rest. I'm sure you won't let me down. Goodbye, Mr. Falcone. Nice to meet you, Vito. So what the hell's going on? A car with three of our guys in it disappeared last night. And word around town is that Luca might have had something to do with it. Who's missing? Harvey Beans and the two guys who were supposed to be protecting him, Tony Balls and Frankie the mm -hmm. Mick. Yeah. Beans is Carlo's accountant. If he talks, 
We're all fucked. What do you need me to do? I need you to wait for him in front of Freddy's and follow him to find out if he's involved. And then? If you find out that he had anything to do with this, you whack the bastard. And if any of our guys is still alive, try and rescue him. Hopefully you can find him before they spill the beans about our operation. Where do you think he'll go? I got no idea. So go prepared. Make sure you've got a fast car and some firepower. All right, no problem. Okay, stop by here when you're done. And Vito, don't tell nobody about this. Got it. Buongiorno. How can I help you, sir? So, here you are. Come again, sir. You always welcome me. Stop here. Stop at Harry's.
Yeah, what's up? It's me, Vito. Come on in. Hey, don't forget the ammo, too, huh? Like my mom always said, you can never have too much ammo. Like my mom always said, you can never have too much ammo. Here you go. Don't hurt yourself. Like my mom always said, you can never have too much ammo. Some gas. We'll do a quick repair. Are you looking to buy a gun, or you just need some ammo? Last hour of the stream. Leave now!
This is Luca's car. Now, where are you, Luca? There you are. Okay, here we go. Shouldn't get too close. I gotta make sure Luca doesn't see me. Weapon is legit, I can guarantee it. Not that I care. You need I got my We got a homicide here. Suspect is armed. Copy that. <laughs> Suspect is about six feet tall. Average size. Ten four. Officer down! Officer down! Shoot this asshole! Roger that.
shouldn't get too close. I gotta make sure Luca doesn't see me. Junkyard, maybe. Nah, Mike doesn't get involved in shit like this. Of course. Looks like Eddie was right. Okay. I gotta get in there without being seen. It's all connected, I know. I saw. I told. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, can I help you? You know how to get into the slaughterhouse over here? And, uh, what would you be looking for in there? Yeah, my dog ran in there. Trying to find them. Your dog, huh? Yeah. You know how to get inside or what? First of all, let me tell you something. You are a terrible liar. <laughs> and second of all, unless your dog has keys to that building, the only way he could have got in is through the sewer. Sewer, huh? All right, thanks. I need a drink. Happy. Happy in the throat. They say that I say that they say that I'm crazy, but I know that they know that I know. Looks like I can pry this off. Jesus Christ, that reeks. could be a problem. Ah! Fuck! Ah! Oh, 
Flu could just stop by to pick up some steaks, I'm gonna kill somebody. Shut up. What, is somebody there? There's nobody there, see? So shut up before we turn you into meatloaf. <laughs> Lousy mutt. Shit, there they are. Now I got you, you skinny little prick. to move. Boss knows what he's doing here. Of course, the boss. Just having one fucking smoke. Relax. Yeah, heard that one before. So, uh, you still thinking about quitting? Yeah, probably next month. And what are you going to do with that? I was thinking of maybe, you know, becoming a voice actor. Are you kidding me? Who the hell would hire you? What do you mean, shift's over? You got shit in your ears? I said you're done for today. But I ain't done pounding the beefsteak. Don't make me say it again. Shift's over. Get the hell out of here. All right, fine by me. Damn straight. Let's go. Thank you. 
They'll be right there. think I don't know about the dope. I know where you got the money. Falcone thinks he's got a good racket going, but he ain't gonna get away with it. Come on, how'd you get it into the States? I don't know anything. I'm just an accountant. Don't fuck with me, you egghead bastard. You wanna end up just like your buddy here? Come on, take a good look. You think you're tougher than him? After we're done with you, we're gonna grind you up in one of these machines here. <laughs> It's, it's just a question of whether I'm going to be nice enough to fucking kill you first. <laughs> hey, what's that fucking stench? Oh. Hey, hey, somebody's Drop over it. there. Hey, who the fuck are you supposed to be? Jesus Christ, what, what, is Captain Shitbag here to save the day? Shut the fuck up, Luca. <laughs> hey, I know you. You're the chump who was hanging around with that moron, Barbaro. I thought you were still rotting in the can. What the fuck you think you're doing here? Falcone sent me. He isn't too fond of skinny little cocksuckers trying to turn his guys into mincemeat. So, you joined up with Falcone, huh? Well, I'll tell you what. If you knew what was really going on, you'd realize that you was better off in jail. But that don't matter now anyway. <laughs> Come on, you little baby! Attaboy, Sammy! Come on, break his fucking You hit neck, like my Sammy. sister. Fun to get. Thanks, Vito. We owe you one. Eddie send you? Yeah, he noticed he was a couple of guys shy at roll call. Shit. Poor Frankie. I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch. Beans, stay here, and don't come out until we come get you. Okay, okay. Just don't forget about me. Okay, fellas? Look out! You got a gun! Fuck you! You missed me! Not 
Suck is gonna piss his pants. Who's next? A lot of guys with a lot of guns are already on their way over. Shit, too late. They can't Here they come. Put you back on that. Nice job. Now let's go get that little cocksucker. Knock, knock. Come on. Let me in. I ain't gonna be able to open it like this. Yeah, we need something heavy, like a, like a battering ram. I know. We'll use that cart. before I grind them up. Wanna join me? Uh, thanks for the invitation, but I think I'll pass it. Uh, blood, huh? No, just hate the sight of Luca. I hear you, but you're missing out. I think I'm gonna try out that cattle prod he was yapping about. Uh, yeah, Eddie wanted me to take care of him personally. Don't worry about that. It'll just take a little longer this way. This fuck don't deserve a quick death. I can't argue with that. Okay, I'm gonna go. I stink like an outhouse. I gotta get cleaned up. And tell Lady he don't gotta worry about Luca. Yo, Beans, open the door. It's all over. You. 
You're still alive? Yeah. What'd you expect? Look, before we go home, you want to give me a hand with Sleeping Beauty here? You know, that's not such a bad idea. Make your purchase and get out. <laughs> After I do a little withdrawal. Money is always welcome here. We're open day and night. I 
I did travel a good distance, so I'm definitely going to get some gas. I don't know if anybody told you this, but... Is that better? I think you'll find the quality is well worth the price. You're in luck. These are on sale today. I'm dead in this. Enjoy your purchase, sir. Don't get up. 
Hey, Vito, you made it. Hey, Eddie. Oh, nice threads. Thanks. So, uh, what's the plan, fellas? What's with the suits? Vito, Mr. Falcone is gonna bring us into the family tonight. You and me. We're gonna be made. No oh, shit. Tonight? Yeah. Really? Why didn't you tell me before? What do we gotta do? You'll find out. But first, there's somebody who'd like to have a little word with you. Leo, good to see you. What are you doing here? <laughs> hey, kiddo. I wanna talk to you about what's gonna happen today. Come here, have a seat. All right. <sighs> sure. And hey, thanks again for doing whatever you did to get me out of the can early. Now I make good on my second promise to you. Second promise? Yeah. I told you the next time... We opened the books, we'd recommend you, didn't I? And now it's done. You had something to do with this? But you work for Frank Vinci. Yeah. I would have liked to have had you in our family. But I figured Joe there is your best friend. You guys grew up together. Just like me and Frank. And since Joe was working for Carlo the whole time you were inside, I recommended they take you in too, when he got made. Thanks, Leo. I, I don't know what to say. You don't gotta say nothing. Not to me or anybody else. That's kind of the way this whole thing works, Vito. <laughs> yeah. Now, come on. We don't want to keep him waiting. All right. I'll see you fellas upstairs. What was that all about? Nah, nothing. Just, you know, talking about old times. Like that time when old Leo dropped the soap. Fuck you. All right, all right, all right. That's enough. Let's go. These are like two school kids, I swear to God. All right, wait here. Now listen to me, fellas. It's one at a time. Once you're inside, just do as you're told, okay? Joe, come on in. Hey. Good luck. Looks like I'm about to get made. All right, your turn, Vito. Gentlemen, this is Vito Scaletta. Vito, know that this family of ours is a secret. You are entering the Society of the oh, Chosen. A society which does not exist to the rest of the world. Our family means more to you from now on than your own family, or God, or your country. If I ask you to kill your own brother, you must do it. Show me. Which finger would pull the trigger? Repeat after me, Vito. If I were to betray the secret of our way of life... If I were to betray the secret of our way of life... May my soul burn in hell. Just like this saint. May my soul burn in hell. Just like this saint. Amico Nostra. Gentlemen, Amico I Nostra. give you our new friend, Vito Scaletta. I am very pleased to have these two talented and honest men join us. And I'm happy this has happened in the presence of our esteemed guests. Especially Don Frank Vinci. And his consul. You might wonder why I'd take this risk man. again after spending You're almost seven years in a can. You see, where Same I grew up, if you was the only guys who mattered were the guys who had the balls to take what they wanted. You will receive payment for your services from Eddie. Would you like to add anything, Frank? Whatever you do, gentlemen, stay away from the dope. No dope. That's our policy. You can make plenty of money. And after years of doing everybody else's dirty work, was too many risks. I was willing to risk anything to finally protection. be somebody. Montage, of course, would have music.
Chapter 10. Room Service. Villa Scalena. June 15, 1953 or 51. 1951. New place. So I'm going to use this the last 12 minutes of this stream and not partake in this mission. It is just a preview for the next time. <sighs> Hello. Hey, Vito. It's Eddie. Hey, Eddie. What's up? I need you to come over to Joe's right now. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. What's happening? I, I I can't tell you over the phone. All right. I'll be right there. Rankin in the dough. So that's my new home.
just for you. Hey, shine your shoes, pal. Shoot. Sure. You get your shoes shined. Looks like Lady Luck's been treating you pretty good. Just remember, I was shining your shoes before you were somebody. What are you talking about? I am somebody now. I'm made. All done. But it only took a second. Shoe shine! I got your shoe shine right here! That almost sounds like Gilbert Godfrey. I got your shoe shine right here! Would you say? Would you like a shoe shine? Mr. Scaletta, looking good. That's right, you better give me half on that hot dog. Never pay full price again, because I'm amazing. Hope you enjoy it, sir. Thank you. Fresh hot dogs, all beef. And a couple other things. <laughs> I heard that. Fresh hot dogs. Get your 12 inches of pleasure right here. Switching the chat screen. I want to thank anyone that's tuning in, following me so far on my channel. Hey, yo, get out. I got my own. Last five minutes of this stream before I close. I'm just gonna drive around. Head to the Lone Star on Hunters. It's where the Soul Brothers are. Nice to see you again. Is that gonna be beer or whiskey? This'll whiskey. curl your toes. Whiskey. You sure about that? I think you've had enough. Here you go. Enjoy yourself.
That's a n- Get the f*** out of my place! <laughs> Making much money. Free drinks. Take some beer, too. Who taught you to drive? Gotta get ready. Here they come. We got a homicide here. Suspect is armed. Piglet. Copy that. Suspect is about six feet tall, average size. 10 4. Officer down! Officer down! Shoot this asshole! Copy that. That's gonna do it for this edition of Let's Play Classic featuring Mafia 2 Classic Edition on the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. I'll be back on tomorrow at the same time. Until then, I'm Kill David for the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. And please stay safe.